People have asked me, why am I spending so much time creating this video series? Let me tell you. One night, I was in my grandson's room as he was about to go to bed. I had him in my arms. I had his bottle. I was feeding him his bottle. We were cuddling. He was relaxing. He was getting ready for bed. It wasn't this chair, but this is the chair that I rocked his mother to sleep in many years earlier. So I'm holding Beckett. The room is dark. The sound machine is on. My senses are overloading. And I thought, what if I die right now? He'll grow up not knowing me. You know, I'd never had a moment like that before. One of those moments that you can mark your life on. Those moments that you can look back to say to yourself, hmm, that was really a life-changing moment. It was the first time that I thought of legacy, of what am I leaving behind, let alone what am I working on right now. So I thought, I want to create something for him. I hope you enjoy it too, but something for him. He has taught me so many lessons. As we're starting, he's 18 months old, and I see something new in him every time we're together. We live fairly close. Pam and I enjoy being grandparents and having him come over. Then I read the book, The Icarus Deception, How High Will You Fly? You know, Seth Godin says, you've got to be an artist. You've got to get out there. You've got to go do something different. You've got to help other people. Don't just sit back and relax. Get out there and do something. This is my way of doing that. So Beckett, here are some lessons you've taught me. Thank <laughs> you.